Ladies and gentlemen, hi there, James again. Welcome to, I guess this would be episode one of YouTube Truth or Dare. Um, the premise behind this, in case you guys didn't see the, the update video where I said that this is something I was going to do, which there's probably a lot of you, that video didn't get many views. Um, I basically want to do a Truth or Dare series. So, in each one of these videos, I will answer the questions that I get in the comment section. So, I'm going to go through some questions. You guys in the comment section, ask me questions that I will answer next week. I'm going to do one of these a week. Now, you can also give me a dare, and I'll do your dares too, um, as long as they're not too wild and out there and crazy. So, since we didn't get any dares yet, right now it's just going to be questions, and frankly we didn't really get any questions, so I'm going off of ask.fm, I think is the website, I've got an account over there, so ask.fm slash slickwang. Um, you can ask me questions there and it's kind of cool because it, it basically just it saves all of those questions so what I'm going to answer today is going to be like 10 random questions you can click a button that says get a random question so I'm gonna answer those today and if you guys have questions you would like for me to answer next week be sure down in the comment section give me some questions and if you can think of some dares for me to do go ahead and do the dares I'll do my best to get the dare done the following week um, so if you give me a dare this week, I'll do my best to get it done next week. If not, it'll be the following week because some dares, some dares just take a little pre-planning and and stuff like that and opportunity. So, so without further ado, here are ten questions. Again, be sure to ask me some questions down in the comment section. Well. In all honesty, if, if video games count as a toy, I'd probably say those. Um, but I wasn't really allowed to have video games when I was a kid. Um, I bought my first NES system when I was like 13, 14 years old, something like that. So um, if those count, then I would say video games. If video games do not count, Legos. 100% Legos. I can't wait to indoctrinate my boy into the Lego family and... Um, yeah, I still, I collected Star Wars Legos for a long time. I've probably got a thousand dollars worth of Star Wars Legos just in a box in my garage. Just all sitting there. I don't have anywhere to display them. Otherwise, they'd be out. So, definitively, video games, if not video games, Legos. And in all honesty, I played with Legos probably more than I played with video games. Well... That's a hard question to answer. Uh, there's a lot of breakfast foods that I love. Um, typically, if I go out to eat, a lot of times I'll look on the menu and see if they have a chicken fried steak. Uh, chicken fried steak, if you can do that right, oh my god, you're one of my favorite restaurants, I tell you. Um, wonderful sausage gravy on it with little biscuits and gravy, eggs over easy, some home fries. Oh, mm, I'm getting hungry. How did you make your first money? I don't think this was an English question, but I'm assuming this is like what was your first job? Maybe um, I made money before my first job. I you know go mow lawns and you know typical stuff kids do. Um, I also kind of ran a little black market at my school. You know I would I would steal things or get them cheaply or do stuff. You know people were giving stuff away and I'd go to school and I'd sell them and. Um, I made I made a pretty good bit of money at school for you know a sixth seventh grade you know, um, but my first job I worked at a hardware store. Um, I was a shipping receiver, so I started off in the warehouse, and really it wasn't even a warehouse; it was literally like a work shed. Um, so our order would come in there, and I would check everything in and put stickers on it and bring it in for other people to put away, and then that got boring very quickly. So I worked really hard to get that done fast and then I would come inside and eventually I worked my way into like customer service so those annoying guys that come up do you need help finding anything that was me and I was damn good at my job damn good I grew up building houses and stuff so 
I was knowledgeable, and I liked being in there a lot more than outside. That's another hard one. I like them both. I like them both. I am a very... When I'm being affectionate, like, I don't really like being touched by people. But when we're, like, on that level, you know, like, we're, we're romantic or I'm really, really comfortable with you. Even if I'm comfortable with you, a hug is about... It's kind of pushing it for me. I don't, I don't really dig being touched. But when we're romantic, like, me and my lady, I... She can't stand it. I am too affectionate for her. So, um, hugs and kisses all the way around, man. I, there's no way I could pick one or the other. Pro I would probably, if I had to pick only one, I would say hugs. Because you can get away with hugs more often than you can get away with kisses. You know, if you're riding on a bus or something, I don't know. Sometimes it's easier you just, you know, little little squeeze versus actually kissing. So, we'll say hugs. You know, Playa del Carmen was freaking gorgeous. It was. Um, I honestly haven't been a lot of places in my life. We didn't do a whole lot of traveling growing up. And um, as I became an adult, my main focus was making money and doing stuff like that. So didn't do a lot of traveling. Um, I did love, we used to hike in the Sequoias a lot. So I've seen a lot of different spots up there. Just, I mean beautiful picturesque views off the side of a mountain. Um, I'll tell you, the the top of Mount Whitney, I'm going to say the top of Mount Whitney was the most beautiful place that I have ever seen. I mean, it was just, you could see forever, forever. Um, the downside to that is I ended up getting altitude sickness, which sucks. Um, not too big into flowers. Um, my lady really, really likes stargazer lilies, and they're probably among the prettier ones that, that I would say I enjoy looking at. Um, if I had to pick, though, I'm going to say jasmine. I don't know what kind of jasmine it is, but it, like, grows in a bush. It smells really, really nice. So, favorite flower, jasmine. Oh, dude, mint and chip. For sure. Absolutely. Mint and chip. Um, none of that, like, really, really cheap stuff where it's, like, green food coloring. If it's green mint and chip, you kind of already know something's wrong. Um, Dryers or uh, Tillamook. Tillamook makes a... I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but Tillamook makes a fantastic mint and chip. Nice chunks of chocolate in there, and the, the mint is just really just... Oof. I have to go get some now. Pretty much all of them. I hate bugs. Um, I guess I... The list of bugs I don't mind would be shorter. So, ladybugs. I'm not afraid of flies, so I guess flies. I don't know. I hate bugs. They're just... They're awful. If, if life could continue on the planet without bugs, I would say let's kill them all. All of them. Um, you know, I think a lot of people, a lot of people think that, like, when you get old, it's like, okay, I'm going to retire, and I'm just going to sleep in and hang out and do this, that, and the other. That 100% is not me. I know for a fact I will be the guy when I retire. If I full-blown retire and just stay home and do nothing, I will be dead within a year. No doubt about it. I, if I ain't moving, I'm dying. Um... So, how do I see myself spending time in my old age? I would say spending as much time as I can with, hopefully, my then-grown children. Um, my, hopefully, grandchildren, who are relatively small. Um, doing a lot of that. Um, I would love to have a garden when I'm, like, old. You know, a nice vegetable garden, grow my own stuff, and give it to people I care about. Um... I would be a very active old guy. Very active old guy. Well, what the hell? Let's go take a look. Because I honestly don't know. My lady's gonna kill me because our bedroom's a mask. 
Oh man, what if we find something really dirty under here? My guess is we're going to probably find pacifiers. That's that's my guess. Um, we got a bottle. So that's handy. What else do we got? We got... I don't know if you guys will be able to see anything under there. We got a sewing mat. What else? That looks like some kind of makeup over there. Yeah, not much. Dust bunnies. All right, guys, so uh, that was my 10 questions for Truth or Dare this week. Um, again, be sure to leave me some questions down in that comment section. I want to answer your questions, not just random ones from the Internet. Ask me questions that you actually want to know. And I don't care. One comment can be like six questions. Go for it. Tear it up. I will answer a maximum of 10 questions per week, and I will do one dare per week. So... Um, feel free to leave a dare. Feel free to leave questions. I look forward to them. And, yeah, hopefully we can have some fun with this. So let me know what you guys think of the series. Um, if you think this is going to be something fun to do or if you're just like, well, this is stupid. Um, yeah, so that's it, guys. Thank you very much. And we'll see you in the next episode.